Good morning, my YouTube family. I am bringing back to you a quick breakfast and lunch. So I'm going to have eggs and bacon, and I'm going to fix some tuna for lunch. So I'll be right back when I have everything ready for you. All right, family, I'm going to put my butter in the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and crack my egg just like that and I have a tablespoon of milk poured into the pan and today I'm going to put some red bell pepper in my egg and so I drop some in there like that because I'm going to use the rest for my topping. Okay, here's my bacon already cut. I just took three slices and cut them on the plate like this. Now, I do have a bacon tray that I will show you that I purchased. But I like using the plate because I store my bacon fat later on for seasoning. And I store it in a mason jar. And keep it in the refrigerator so this is going in the microwave for about two minutes well probably about three minutes because I want it crispy but I'll stop it at two to check it okay I'm going to go ahead and whip up my egg like so and you should I've shown you how I make my eggs and always pour it onto the oil just like that I'm not sure what type of seasoning I want this morning so I'm not going to add any while I am cooking my egg so I'm going to let it turn the burner back up now that I have my egg in because everything is going to go downhill from here Pull it just like that and it makes almost like an omelet so before I do that I'm going to put some cheese in the middle this is the cheese that I'm using which is the Mexican poor style cheese I'm just going to put some cheese in the middle like that I love cheese family and fold it over to make like an omelet. Cooking is fun. I always say that because as you start cooking, you change your mind and you have the right to. And it, you start to doing different things. I just knew I wanted some eggs and bacon this morning. That's all I knew. So I'm going to open up my can of tuna and I'll be right back. Okay, I buy tuna in water. I'm going to pour the water off, though, because I don't want it in my tuna. Here's what it's looking like. I'm going to drop it in the container. And it needs help because there's no liquid in it, and that's fine. That looks yummy. Now this I probably can eat just like this. I've never tried tuna without any anything else. But I think I'm going to try it one day. And make like a tuna melt. Mmm, that sounds good. Okay. So, let me go ahead and check my bacon. Okay, family, in this bowl is a boiled egg already. So I had already previously boiled this egg, and I always like to have boiled eggs ready for whenever I'm going to make um, tuna or chicken salad, or just to eat by itself. Okay, I used to 
dice my egg but now just drop it right in the bowl so with that i'm going to add my relish start out with two teaspoons all right and here's my miracle whip and I'm going to have two teaspoons of fat. Now, if you want to be much more healthy conscious, you can use yogurt. Now, this is what I do to my egg. I'm just going to dice it and chop it up with the spoon. Because when I'm in a rush, that's what I do. And not so much, I take that back, not so much when I'm in a rush, when I don't feel like it. That's what it boils down to. Because guess what? Who knows that the egg is chopped up all nice and fine? Nobody. Because you're going to eat it just the same. So, this is all I do is whip this baby up like this. And voila. But what I was going to say, family, was that... If you want it to be more health conscious with this, instead of adding mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or anything like that, you can add yogurt. So I haven't tried that yet, but I am going to. Okay, now I am going to take my egg out of the plate. I'm sorry, put my egg on the plate because it is, it is ready. It's, it's going to do what I want it to do. Look at that cheese, family. And that's all you do is just slide it on the plate. So let me get the rest of my toppings because I'm not done with this. All right. Also, family, I'm going to have some coffee. I don't drink coffee every morning, but that's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to use my Bella. One moment. All right. Here's my, my, this is my Bella. And... It's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee and get started. Okay, since my tuna is done and I'm not going to add anything on it, so I'm just going to put it into my bowl. And all I'm going to have is two tablespoons. That is it. So I think how I want it today to mask the smell of tuna family, I don't normally use seasoning and bacon bits. All right, family, here's my bacon, and I'm just going to pour it into my mason jar. Pour all of that goodness off of there because bacon fat, like I said before, is a good seasoner. So... With that being said, that's all I do. And then I take my bacon off the plate. Doesn't that look yummy? Just like it came out of the oven. But it was the microwave oven. Family, this is not sponsored. But if you want to be able to literally get hot things out of your oven really fast, this is the Of Glove. Does it work? Yes, it does. Again, this is not sponsored. But this is a nice glove. All right, family. I am back. Here's my tuna with bacon. I should be called the Baconator because I love bacon. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on there like so. Now, I'm not going to use bread because I try to keep my weight down. And so, I purchased these called Wasa Multi Grain Crisp bread they're okay but i will try the other flavors so it is just basically like um a piece of toast kind of and this is what it looks like i know you're probably like what so the taste again isn't the greatest but it was worth the try so this is what it looks like this is the thickness this is what the back looks like. 
So, yes, I'm going to put my tuna on top, and that's going to be my lunch. Now, back to my eggs. Here is my eggs and bacon. I love salsa. So, this is the salsa that I'm using. I'm just going to take a teaspoon of salsa and drop it right on my eggs. That's why I told you that I don't always put seasoning on my eggs because I don't know what my outcome is going to be. So this has 150 milligrams of sodium in it. So I don't need any extra salt. And I don't, even though I love garlic powder, but I don't do that before I go to work. So here are the rest of my bell peppers. And I'm just going to top them like so. And voila, this is breakfast. Mmm, can you smell it? Doesn't that look yummy? So, I have done for you breakfast and lunch all under 15 minutes. So, if you like this video and you like my content, please click the subscribe button. And make sure that you share it with all of your family and friends. With clicking the subscribe button, make sure that you click I subscribe in the comments. I'm sorry, type I subscribe in the comments. And with that, click the bell notification so you'll never miss another one of my videos. And thumbs up my video. And so I am, yes, making my coffee. And this is condensed milk. And that's all I'm going to do to that. And that completes this video. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe. Okay, family, I forgot to show you this. This is the bacon tray that I bought many years ago. And all you do is lay your bacon on it. And it cooks just like that in the microwave. So... I will show you that the next time, but I wanted to show you because I said I would. So with that, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Take care and be safe.